once the decision was made to sponsor Liz Gleedle, uh, she came and spent some time with us. Um, when we first met Liz, she started sharing some stories of what life was like as a world-class competitor training for the Olympics. And it, it didn't take very long to realize her level of commitment and what she's enduring to represent Canada in Rio this summer. So right away, we wanted to try and use our expertise to help in any way that we could. We knew we'd be using our Stratasys 3D printers and SolidWorks design software, so we reached out to our partners at Stratasys and SolidWorks. And after explaining what we were up to, uh, they agreed to support the development of our team's ideas. Liz came to us and said, I have this issue with my shoulder that's recurring. And when I'm on the road, I need a better way to release the tension and the scar tissue that builds up. So we started kind of having a whiteboard session and we realized that, you know, of the two Stratasys machine uh, technologies, we decided that FDM was the better way to go. And the reason is the materials are much tougher. So in the FDM portfolio, you can get engineering plastics like nylon that allow you to bend them without breaking. So after deciding that we wanted to go with the FDM technology, we decided that we wanted to devise a, uh, a clamp that would mount onto the rack of a squat rack. You have the development of the actual release device here, which looks like a bit of a fin. You have the clamping mechanism. And then what we did here is cut out a bunch of the materials because in 3D printing, the idea is to reduce the amount of material you're using, not consume. So we looked at the drawings and we started playing around with this device on squat racks and it didn't work. And the reason it didn't work is we found out there are more iterations of squat rack designs than we had previously anticipated. We, we struggled with the mounting procedure after this. We decided, you know, the clamp wasn't working for us. Using the design software that we uh, work with internally at Javelin, uh, Industrial Design from SolidWorks, we realized that we could actually quickly make up and mock a, uh, a replica of a physiotherapist's hand. So we wanted to go with a similar curvature of what your fingers would hold and that would allow Liz to get under her shoulder blade and her scapula to reach at the scar tissue and the, uh, the damaged muscle. And what we did is we actually built in internal channels in this curvature here. And in the curvature, there's actually a cutout in here. And this is where the strap goes through and then you'll t loop it around the squat rack and cinch it tight. So then we went finally to a final functional prototype in which we mounted this to a various um, styles of squat racks. And the component doesn't twist, it doesn't bend, it doesn't break. We're finally at the final design. And we changed the colors in the printers because we thought red and, you know, Team Canada, I thought it's going to be pretty fun. So we cut out quite a bit of material. So as you can see from profile, the red device is quite a bit uh, shallower than the black device and that's because we realized that the base of the black one was just a little bit too thick. So again, it was all of a matter of two, three minutes. We had the last final prototype ready to go for the production piece. We sent it on to the printers and the next morning we had the final product ready to go. Our teams produced a couple of great products and um, couldn't have been created without the use of SolidWorks and Stratasys 3D printers. I'm really proud of what the team's come up with and want to say thanks to our supporters at Stratasys and SolidWorks. Liz, it may be small, but in the grand scheme of things, we hope it helps and wish you success in Rio 2016 this summer.